Hey there Q5 owners. I recently uh, upgraded the extruder on my Q5 and since there was so little information out there about it I thought I would do a quick uh, video on my impressions of the new extruder that I got and then a very important tip that you're going to need to know before you do your installation because the uh, item that you need isn't included in the kit from MicroSwiss. So this is the MicroSwiss dual gear extruder for Bowden style setups and overall it's an outstanding value in my opinion for the money it was less than fifty dollars it's easy to install and it works perfectly um, <clears throat> the quality is obvious it's it's a, it's a beautifully uh, designed and uh, manufactured piece one of the things that I really like is that everything's out in the open so that uh, you can uh, see your filament when you're loading it and should you ever need to do any maintenance or cleaning you can see exactly where everything is versus how the other one was covered up and very difficult to see especially if it, you didn't have a lot of light so for those reasons it's just an outstanding uh, upgrade in my opinion the last thing and this came as a surprise I really wasn't expecting it was that the Q5 has been quieted down significantly I've purposely got a print running right now so that I could do this video while it's running and you could see exactly how quiet and smooth it is with the new extruder. Um, when, when we get our Q5's stock, the retractions are huge. And in fact, if you had a full spool of filament and you had some things up here uh, and you're printing a part that has a lot of retractions, I bet that these things would all fall off eventually by the end of the print because it moves around that much. But as you can see, this thing is doing retractions and printing, and it's just silky smooth, which is something that I wasn't expecting but really do appreciate. In order to, to do the upgrade, I'm not going to go into great detail. I'll just point out a couple of things that you need to know. Uh, and I'm not going to go into great detail because there uh, is a great installation guide on the MicroSwiss site. And uh, it's also uh, just you know, really very easy to do. The one thing that you're going to need that doesn't come with the kit and I haven't seen mentioned anywhere else is a spacer. You need a spacer to go between the new extruder and the stepper motor. The reason for that is because the screws that come with the kit are 10 millimeters long and that's too long. They will bottom out on the stepper motor and you won't be able to tighten the extruder to the stepper motor. I printed out a two millimeter thick plate using this as a template and uh, it's a nice solid mount so I would recommend that. <clears throat> However, if you didn't want to go that route, you could get uh, shorter screws. I think a six millimeter would be sufficient, uh, but uh, I wanted to use the, uh, the uh, screws that came with the extruder uh, because I like the way it looks and uh, you know, but you can do whatever suits you. Uh, shorter screws, uh, a spacer in the back, or whatever. But you won't be able to do your installation until you have either one of those two things. The installation is super straightforward. The MicroSwiss guide is outstanding. <clears throat> There's also a video uh, link to a video that ModBot did uh, installing it. However, it's on his Ender 3, so it's a little bit different. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have mentioned the plate. When it comes time to take the old extruder off, uh, you have uh, three screws to loosen. And uh, before you loosen those screws, uh, dial this tension knob all the way in. Take all the tension off of the lever. Uh, take the front cover off. I have to be careful here because there's nothing holding this together and everything will fall out if I don't hold it just right. So, uh, Next thing you want to do is take your Bowden tube out and this little uh, guide is going to fall out with it. Uh, you can go ahead and take your Bowden tube out of the coupling now or later. Next thing you want to do is take your tensioner knob out, pry the lever off of the extruder motor. There you can you'll see the gear in there. Um, <clears throat> you'll notice that this thing is still mounted to the case, and the reason for that is because there's a screw hidden behind this uh, main gear. Uh, so once you take that uh, two millimeter screw out, the case is going to come off. And as I said, you can either take your extruder gear off now. <clears throat> this is the extruder gear that's on there. It's got, uh, where's the other one? 
It's got two set screws in it, two 1.5s. Uh, or you can take it off after you've, uh, you know, after the stepper motor is released and sitting in the top of the case here. Um, either way, you just do whatever your preference is. Then you're ready to uh, assemble your extruder. You put the guide, the spring, the knob, and the arm on. You use the shoulder screw to mount it to the uh, backing plate. Um, at that point, uh, you're going to need to line up the main gear on the uh, extruder shaft, or the stepper motor shaft. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can do that one of two ways. You can do it visually by lining it up so that they're uh, parallel to each other. Uh, or you can uh, install a piece of filament into the tube here and then that will automatically line up the two gears and then you can tighten the uh, new gear with the 1.5 millimeter driver take this out and you'll be good to go <clears throat> and of course you're going to need to put your PTFE tubing in the coupling uh, Micro Swiss recommends that you make a cut in the tubing and by bringing it to a point like that it allows you to get the tubing extremely close to the gears which makes it a lot easier to load the filament which is something that I recommend. I did see one guy just cut his flush and uh, having you know the experience now of putting the filament uh, in I'd say that anything that you can do to make it easier to load would be time well spent. So then you basically have everything put together and then it's time to put your uh, top on, put your filament back on, and uh, it's time to load it up. However, I'm going to caution you that the one thing that you don't want to do with your new extruder is use the uh, automatic loading routine on the Q5. If you do, the uh, automatic loading routine will load the filament so fast and for so long <clears throat> that it can't keep up with the hot end and it'll chew up all of the filament and create a bunch of dust and uh, particles and all of that is going to clog up the new gears on your beautiful new extruder which you will then have to go in and pick out with a pick. So don't use the automatic loading procedure, load it manually by hand, just push this over, push the filament in, push it through the hot end and as soon as you've extruded some you're good to go. The next thing that you're going to want to do once you've got your filament loaded is from the Micro Swiss site under the guide for this extruder is download the uh, G-code for updating the E-steps. Uh, what you do is you put it on your SD card, you run it just like you would run any other file, and it instantly updates the uh, existing E-steps to 130. Uh, that is a good starting point uh, for this printer. You will be able to print, however the prints won't be uh, uh, optimal. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and do a, a calibration on your system with your extruder because you know you may not have the Capricorn tubing that I like and there may be other subtle variations between your uh, Q5 and mine that would make a custom calibration for yours uh, beneficial to you. My final E-steps turned out to be 138.5 which or 138.2. You may use that uh, if you like but again I recommend you do your own uh, the final and one of the most probably important things you're going to want to do is that at the very bottom of the guide, uh, Micro Swiss gives a uh, recommended retraction setting of 3.5. That's for a dual gear with a all metal hot end. So once you change the retraction settings from I think I believe it's eight from the factory down to 3.5, you'll notice that you're going to get these super smooth and very quiet retractions which uh, you know have been taking place all along while I've been talking and you know you can barely barely hear a thing that's how smooth and quiet this runs with the new extruder so overall I think this is a great update uh, a great upgrade I would recommend it and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed <laughs>